All right. So tier two wonder, quite nice. You have to be cautious of the great merchant points again. All right. Next up is um, after mausoleum is Petra. Uh, this is the most broken wonder in the game. Uh, possibly besides Alhambra, possibly roughly equal with Alhambra. Um, Petra gives you plus one food and plus one production for all of desert tiles work by the city, except for floodplains. Um, it also gives you a free caravan and, if, and an extra trade route. So if you had the available before five trade routes, you now have available six trade routes total, and you'll get a free caravan, so it'll take up one of those trade routes, but it's a permanent free trade route. Uh, which is incredibly good, and it will give you six additional culture once archaeology is discovered. That's pretty much a non-issue. You almost never archaeology is very late in the game. It's going to be after research labs before people are getting archaeology, so that that part isn't so important. But what it allows you to do, um, oh, one more thing, to build Petra in a city, your city must be on or adjacent to a uh, desert tile. Now, here's why Petra is T2 and T, not T1, and it's T2 because basically. A, you have to be next to a desert or on a desert, and B, you have to have desert tiles in the radius of your city that are going to be able to be useful for Petra. And that really does not mean, unless you're Morocco, that doesn't mean flat desert with nothing on it. That means desert stone, desert iron, desert hills, oasis, or I think that's about it. Probably like any of the desert resources, like uh, desert marble is okay, stuff like that. But basically, for Petra to be useful, it requires a couple of situational things. Now, that said, if you have a moderate to decent Petra city that is a Petra city with a, uh, a fair number of Petra hills or Petra resources, or even just a kind of okay number, like 3 to 5, 5 to 7, if you get anything like above like 7, you're just in a ridiculous situation for how powerful your city is going to become. It adds an insane insane amount of food and production and both of those are important to that the production of course is what you're ultimately wanting from it but the food allows you to get more production in terms of growth petra is incredible it is game changing if you have the ability to build a strong petra it is worth beeline for beeline beelining specifically for the currency tech to build petra because it is so powerful and so game changing yeah, can't say enough good things about Petra. If you have the ability to build it and you have a city where that can be taken advantage of, it is absolutely worth prioritizing that above and beyond pretty much everything else because it is so powerful. If you get a good secondary city that you somehow manage to sneak a Petra off in, it's essentially like having two capitals. If you get this in your capital, your capital becomes an unbeatable powerhouse for eras and eras and eras. So Petra, super, super strong. The only downside of Petra is that you can't every game just open up the tech tree and click on currency and go, I want Petra. Because a large portion of those games, you won't have either desert immediately available to even allow you to build the city, Petra, or you won't have enough of the of the tiles that you need to really make Petra game-changingly strong for you. Um, honestly, I've played games before where I have a weak Petra capital, but it is available to build it in there, and I built Petra specifically to deny it to other players, because I do not want other players getting a huge production bonus from Petra, because it will make it extraordinarily difficult to compete with them. 